um, they take a CD and they'll burn it on a PC. And then they'll take it to a Macintosh computer and the Mac says, it's unreadable. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> well, here's what's happened. On Windows, I think a lot of the programs that, uh, that are set up in Windows to burn CDs do a thing called burn session. So what it means is it takes a CDR, not a rewritable, just a CDR, and it burns the files on it for that time. Then you can always come back and add more files and add more files. So you don't waste the whole disk when you have so much space still left over. The problem is, unless you close the burn session, you're going to have a problem. So make sure you do close the burn session. Mm -hmm. on a PC if you're planning on taking it somewhere else. You can't add anything to the disk once you close it. Max, by the default, when they burn a CD, automatically close the session. Um, so I just wanted to point that out to you for those that may be running into this problem where you burn on a PC and then it says the Mac can't read the PC burned disk. Well, it's because it was never closed out. Mm -hmm. If you close it out, then the Mac should be able to read CDs burned on a, you know, data CDs burned on a PC. The format's pretty much standard. Shouldn't no, be a problem. It's a little checkbox to have noticed on a Windows that mm -hmm. you can close session or not, or it's a drop down menu. I think yeah. at Nero, it's a drop down menu. Yeah. So now on the Mac side, you know, often in Windows, it's really simple to erase a disk. Usually you just choose the disk, right click, and say, erase. Format. Yeah, erase. And, and that'll do it. It's real simple. Not quite the same on here. In fact, I have a little CD right here on the side. I'm going to pop this puppy in. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a program called Disk Utility. And Disk Utility is what you use to erase disks, uh, reformat disks, partition disks. That's what you basically use. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Disk Utility, if you don't know, if you go into the Applications folder, I'm going to double check on here. Oh, by the way, I just uh, popped in a CD right there. You can see it on the desktop. That has a, is a data disk. I open that up, and there's a file that I've got. And I click on there to eject it. But uh, if I right click, it doesn't give me any option to erase or format anything like that. Mm -hmm. So if you go to, if I can get the hard drive to, oh. we're having a little mouse sticking problems. There we go. That's fine. And again, <laughs> we're having some mouse problems. I'm going to go to my applications folder over here. Oh, you can already see some new features of Leopard. Yeah, right here too. I'm going to change that real quick and just <laughs> go. And basically, this is located inside the utilities folder. And let me take the keyboard so I can zoom in and show them here. And that's the utilities folder right there. Mm -hmm. And you double click on that. And inside that, you'll find a program called Disk Utility. And that's what you want to open up. It's a pretty helpful utility, so you may want to drop it down in your dock for easy access, too. If you, yeah, if you're constantly erasing disks. And or now even over hard drives, it works for that, too. So, mm -hmm. so over here, um, we basically have uh, the different drives. Here's my internal hard drive, and there's the one partition. It's only one, one image, basically, that mm -hmm. I've got. I haven't split it up. And then over here is the CD. You can tell nicely by the icons that are in there. You can tell right away that's a hard drive image, and this is a CD image. So I can click on that, and then come over here and choose, let me pull it over a little bit, click Erase. All right? And then the Erase, it gives you an option to say quickly or completely. Um, I usually just use the uh, quickly and then click on erase okay. and it's prompting me, are you sure all data will be lost? I want to lose my data. And it got rid of the sessions that you had on there too because it looked like you had some mm -hmm. sessions. Right, that's what the subcategories were there. Mm -hmm. And that is a blank CD <clears throat> here in a couple seconds. And you can see right down here this little blue progress bar where it's kind of going across as it's erasing the disk. Mm -hmm. So it takes a little minute to do that. Uh, but that's how you can erase a CD rewritable so that you can burn on it again. Mm -hmm. And I do this a lot if I burn a music CD that I want to actually listen to in the car. And then I can come in here, erase it, burn a new playlist on there. Although you want to watch out with the music CDs because some of the uh, music CDs won't read a rewritable or mm -hmm. the CD re readers won't. And then it says basically what do I want to do with it? Do I want to open iTunes because I want to burn another music CD or do I want to make it a data CD? It's just case. like when you first insert it. Yeah, so it's just like a brand new one. So I just click on open in Finder. That's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me go back to the, uh, the desktop here. It should show up here in just a second under devices. It may not be set up there, but there's the untitled CD. Okay. If I close out of that, we'll actually see that. Let me uh, hide that. There's my CD. And if I want to copy files to it, I can just drag, like, you know, boy, this is a handful, handsome looking devil. I'm just going to drag this image over here. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Indexing problems. Our mouse is really freaking out for some reason. <laughs> um, and then go ahead and click on burn. 
and then it'll burn the disk. And then you can eject it and take it somewhere else. That's how you can transfer your data. Let me go back to disk utility though. I want to show you some features in here. For the hard drive, when you go to erase a hard drive, you can't do it on a drive that you booted up from. You have to actually boot from like a Mac OS X install CD or Tech Tool Pro or something like that in order to be able to do it. Probably but, wouldn't want to anyway. But usually, yeah, you may not want to unless you're <laughs> going to be a fresh install anyway. Um, but in disk utility, you might want to erase an external hard drive uh, where you back up your files or transfer your files. And basically all you have to do is, is to choose that drive and then you can <coughs> choose the format that you want. And you, Mac OS Extended Journal is the format you would want if you're going to make this a bootable drive. Otherwise, you just want Mac OS Extended in that format section. Um, if you, uh, it's not giving me the pull down menu because I don't actually have one to actually format it at this point. So I think there's also an MS-DOS if you're wanting to run it on Windows. Exactly, and that format's that I believe in FAT32 format. You'll be limited to the biggest file is two gigabytes is the biggest file that you can actually yeah. have. So you, there are some limits on that. Uh, but that would be a way to transfer your data back and forth from your PC to your Mac or PC, uh, Mac, your friend's PC. <laughs> uh, but the journal is only needed if it's going to be a bootable drive. Otherwise, you don't really have a whole lot of need for it. Next, you just select it and then you just click in you know, erase. But one of the things I also wanted to show is on here is a thing called partition right there. If I click on partition, it gives me an option here. Basically, I have a whole partition and I can click on the plus button down here to add a partition. And now I have two partitions. And I can choose how big I want each one to be. I can see I want two to be uh, just a 20 gigabyte drive because I want it to be just a, a drive I work on for a video editing project that I may be working on. Mm -hmm. And so that would work pretty well. And the nice thing about partitions, if you don't understand what it's doing, it's basically splitting up your hard drive into different sections. It's kind of like having a garage and you have stuff, your Christmas stuff you put over here and then you have your recycling stuff you put over here. And so your recycling stuff, you're constantly adding and removing stuff, adding and removing stuff. Your Christmas stuff, you're only bringing out once a year. A partition is kind of like that. Instead of getting stuff mixed and jumbled, it takes you more time to try to find stuff and sort through the chaos, the dis, you know, the, everything merged together. And so this is kind of like a working space that you've got. It also can be helpful with working in Photoshop to have a space that you work on right there. Uh, for Final Cut Pro, making that your scratch disk, that sort of thing. And then when you erase your files off of that, it's brand new. It's not fragmented. And fragmenting a hard drive can slow things down. It's kind of like mixing your Christmas stuff mm -hmm. in with your recycling. It's going to take you longer to find all the recycling stuff and make sure that it gets taken to the recycling center or out to the curb if you have that convenience. And once you do this, it shows up like it's another hard drive. That's right. It'll show up as a second hard drive right on the desktop, right on the desktop. Kind of like where that Techies thing is, so I don't move that out of the way. It would show up right there as a second one. And whatever you wanted to name it. Right now it's called Macintosh Hard Drive 2, but I can come up here and I can change it and call it my video, if I can spell, video. Mm -hmm. editing drive. So you can kind of see what I've got there. Excuse my typos on really that. Really excited case. about the drive. <laughs> um, and so that's what I'm doing right there. What's really cool about this, and you may not realize, in the previous versions of Mac OS, you could not do this to the drive that you booted up from it on the fly. Cause trouble. You would have to erase the whole hard drive and reset the partitions. This was wonderful for me because on my computer, I actually had a partition for boot camp to run Windows on my Mac where I'd actually boot up. But I like Parallel so well. It works for everything I'm doing. I don't need the boot camp space and I'm losing, I need that hard drive space on my computer because it's on my laptop. Uh, I need every bit of hard oh, space yeah. I can get because I'm a multimedia mogul, nut, <laughs> pack rat. Uh, <laughs> and so I was able to change this right on the fly and be able to get rid of that partition and add that back to my hard drive without losing all of my data. And that was really a wonderful thing that we did. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I so just anyway. recently did something like that on mine and I don't have Leopard yet, but you know, I had to rewipe everything. That's a powerful feature of Leopard. That may be a reason enough for you to upgrade is to be able to constantly be able to change these types of things. You can always partition before, but you always had to wipe the whole drive before you change the mm -hmm. partitions and the amounts of them. So that was just wonderful when I upgraded. I was able to do that and free up that space. Okay. So that's the Disk Utility. It's a really great program. Um, that's how you would format your drives on a Mac if you wanted to, to make it Mac compatible. NTFS format for Windows, that doesn't work with Mac. So I just wanted to point out to you. Macs can read it, but they can't write to it, at least not yet, unless something's happened in Leopard that I haven't heard about. I think there's a software you can get, but that's beside the point. Okay.